let's be really honest about it. They need Motorsport Games, which is part of Motorsport Network, if you didn't know. So the company that owns Autosport, Motorsport.com, they created a games arm called Motorsport Games. They bought all the licenses to IndyCar, NASCAR, Le Mans, stopped other platforms from being able to do events there. So you can no longer do the um, Le Mans uh, 24 hours in iRacing. They then didn't really do a good job of getting games out. They released NASCAR Heat, which was terrible. They created a whole media arm. So when I was making videos on YouTube about games, trying to review them honestly, I was competing against a media arm called Traction that employed some great people. The people were great, but it was a wholly owned arm of motorsport games that would report on motorsport games, video games. And it wasn't always super clear that that was disclosed. And I was like, okay, that's a little bit weird.